And welcome to this week's uh, Titan Talk. I'm Eric Stock and joined by Jason Gregoire with the Illinois Wesleyan men's basketball team. Jason, it's good to have you here. Thank you. Glad to be here. So a couple questions just to uh, introduce uh, fans uh, to you so they've seen you on the court so they get to know you a little bit better. Tell me first uh, where you're from. I'm from uh, Cary, Illinois, a northwest suburb of Chicago. How did you end up coming to Illinois Wesleyan? Uh, Coach Rose saw me at uh, one of our holiday tournaments up at Jacobs Holiday Tournament. And he liked the way I played, and he recruited me pretty hard. And I liked what the school had to offer academically and athletically and fell in love with the coaching staff and some of the players on my visit. So I thought it was the perfect fit. And so what are you studying? Uh, I'm a double major in finance and economics. That's pretty challenging. How do you manage that during the basketball season? Um, it's a lot, but it's, uh, it's going pretty well so far. Do you have a favorite class? Um, right. I think my favorite class I've ever taken was uh, last semester, and it was financial statement analysis. I thought, thought it was the most uh, interesting, and I learned the most out of it. Well, that sounds like a blast. <laughs> um, what's your hardest class? Uh, my hardest class? Um, it probably was financial statement analysis, actually, was that class that I took last okay. semester. So that's interesting. So the, the most challenging was your favorite. So that's, mm -hmm. that's probably a good sign. And you had additional uh, catch-up time, as we've talked about previously, as you were uh, under the weather, case of mono, before the basketball season, I guess even into the preseason. What was that like as you had to do all of that extra work to get caught up and still, and still you know, stay active on the basketball team and get ready for the start of the season. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a huge challenge. We uh, I had three weeks of work to make up, and I missed kind of the first round of tests and everything for all those classes. So it was kind of like I was taking eight classes because I had to uh, stay on top of what was going on currently, but also make up the work that I was missing. And then basketball season also started, so I had to go to basketball practice and try to get back into shape from all the weight I lost and all the conditioning that I lost, but uh, Coach Rose and the coaching staff were super helpful and were super understanding about me uh, maybe missing a practice for uh, schoolwork and stuff like that, so it made the process a lot easier. Well, it had to be an unsettling time for you because you're going into the season in general not knowing how it's all going to play out, is all of the sacrifice going to be worth it, it turned out to be, uh, for you, but what was it like going through that mentally not knowing what was ahead of you? Yeah, I mean, uh, kind of looking ahead, it could be unsettling or uh, anything like that, but you just kind of had to take it day by day. I knew it was going to be a long process, and I knew I probably wasn't going to be back to the, my full strength or anything like that until uh, December around Christmas time or the holiday break. So I just had to stay patient was really the key. So you had to put on, what, about 15 to 20 pounds to, to get back into playing shape. Now, most people mm -hmm. love that kind of diet over the holidays. Now, how were you, <laughs> how were you able to do that? Um, I just kind of just lived my life, stuck, stuck <laughs> to my normal diet. I didn't do anything. I knew I'd put it back eventually. It just took a little bit of time. What's been the best part of your experience here at Illinois Wesleyan and you're going on three years? Um, definitely the people of this program. Um, not only my teammates and the coaches, but people like you and the fans. They've just really made the whole experience special. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, hopefully um, working in Chicago and family-wise, I don't know if I'll be single or married or anything like that, but uh, hopefully definitely working and living in Chicago. What would your coaches uh, say about you? Um, I think my coaches would say that I'm a very uh, competitive and uh, driven person. I think that's one of the first qualities that Coach Rose likes about me is how competitive I am on the court. Well, the team has been on quite a roll in January, winners of seven straight. And how do you feel the team is gelling at this point as you head into the final weeks of the conference season? I feel like we're gelling really well. I feel like we're, uh, we're really hitting our stride at the right time. And uh, especially since we came back from holiday break, we've, uh, we've really had some really good practices, and I think it's been showing in games as well. So everyone's understanding their roles and um, playing to their uh, potential as well, filling those roles. Coming up, a rematch with Augustana on the road. You beat them here a couple of weeks back. What are your thoughts on the rematch? Um, it's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be a packed house tonight. Um, I'm sure since we beat them last time, Augustana will definitely come ready to play. But uh, we're also going to come ready to play, and uh, we're excited for this opportunity. All right. Jason, we appreciate the time. Best of luck to you. Thank you.